Hi guys and welcome back to Lingoni. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to say hello in German and also how to introduce yourself and how to say where you're from. Let's take a closer look. Let's start with the word Hallo. 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 This means hello. Hallo. We use this greeting when we talk to friends, family members or people we already know. When you don't know the person well, a stranger or someone you rarely see, so someone you don't know very well at all, you would say Guten Tag. Guten Tag. You would also use this greeting when you go into a store and you want to greet a person that's in the store, like a small boutique, for example, um, or any other store where you greet people. Then you would also use Guten Tag. And you would use this expression during the day because it means good day. Guten Tag. In the morning, you would say Guten Morgen. Guten Morgen. Starting at around 6 p.m., you would say Guten Abend. Guten Abend. There's a D at the end of Abend, but it's pronounced like a T. We'll learn more about this in a future lesson. Guten Abend. And when you're about to go to bed, you can say Gute Nacht. Gute Nacht. You wouldn't use that expression when you still plan on going out to party or when you're still going out for a drink with friends or when you have something else planned that night, then you wouldn't say Gute Nacht. Gute Nacht is really only used before you go to bed. When you're greeting really good friends, people you're close to, you can also just say, hi, hi. Or you can also just say, hey, hey. But you would never say that to strangers on the street. That would be weird. All right, now, how would you introduce yourself? If you want to introduce yourself, you would say, ich heiße, ich heiße. That letter looks like a B, but it's a sharp S. You'll also learn more about that in another lesson. Ich heiße. For instance, ich heiße Jenny. Ich heiße Jenny. You can also use a last name. Ich heiße Anna Schmidt. Ich heiße Anna Schmidt. Ich heiße Thomas Zimmermann. Ich heiße Thomas Zimmermann. If you want to ask someone what their name is, you would say, wie heißen Sie? That would be the formal version because Sie with a capital S means you. It's the formal you. Wie heißen Sie? If I'm speaking informally to someone like um, a child, for example, and I want to know a child's name, then you can say, wie heißt du? Wie heißt du? Wie heißen Sie literally means how are called you. How are you called? doesn't really make too much sense when you translate it, but that's just the way we say it. Wie heißen Sie? Wie heißt du? Another way to introduce yourself would be to say I am. So in German we say ich bin. Ich bin Jenny. Ich bin Thomas Zimmermann. Ich bin Anna Schmidt. A more formal way to introduce yourself would be My Name ist Thomas Zimmermann. My Name ist Anna Schmidt. If you want to say, and what's your name? In German, you just have to say, und sie, and you, formal, und sie, or informal, und du, und du. If you want to ask where someone's from, you would have to use the question, woher kommen sie? Where are you from? Or literally, where from come you? Woher kommen sie? Sie, you would use that when you talk to a stranger or an authority, someone older than you, or someone you just don't know very well. It's always safe to use sie. If you don't know whether to say du or sie, it's the safer option to say sie. Even though it's becoming more common to use du now, we're becoming more informal in Germany with all the influence from other countries. Um, it's becoming more common to use du in companies as well, depending on the company, not in a bank, for example, but um, you know, in um, 
in very modern companies, this is absolutely okay. Woher kommen Sie? Informal, woher kommst du? Woher kommst du? Let's say you're at a university and you're asking someone else who's studying there where they're from, then you can just say, woher kommst du? You don't really have to use Z in that context. Woher kommst du? And the answer would be, ich komme aus Deutschland. Ich komme aus Deutschland. Or, ich komme aus den USA. Ich komme aus den USA. Ich komme aus Indien. Ich komme aus Indien. Ich komme aus Ghana. Ich komme aus Ghana. Now, the last thing I'm going to teach you is how to ask someone where they live. The question would be, wo wohnen Sie? Wo wohnen Sie? Literally, where live you? Wo wohnen Sie? Or informal, wo wohnst du? Wo wohnst du? And the answer would be, ich wohne in Köln. Ich wohne in Berlin. Ich wohne in Frankfurt. Ich wohne in Stuttgart. Ich wohne in Heidelberg. All right, now you've learned a lot of useful phrases that you can use when you introduce yourself in German. I would suggest that you watch this video several times, take notes, complete our PDF worksheet, and then go ahead with the interactive exercises in our application on Lingoni.com. We have over 600 PDF worksheets and over 12,000 interactive exercises for you. So there's a lot of material for you to practice your reading, writing, and listening skills, and there's also a pronunciation tool. Repetition is everything, so as I said before, watch this video several times, take notes, and try to absorb the pronunciation, try to listen to it, and maybe you can even try to repeat what I'm saying in this video, okay? It's hard at the beginning, but it's going to get easier as you keep studying. Bis bald! Tschüss!